بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي الحمد في الله continuing on in our study of encouraging harmony and wisdom and da'wah and warning against discord the Sheikh said حفظ الله تعالى so be keen on brotherhood. And if something happened to you between you in the past that it caused you to separate, <clears throat> then forget the past and turn over a new leaf. That's beautiful advice from the Sheikh. I wish this was being implemented with our brothers. That sometimes you're going to have uh, differences. And sometimes even between the ulama. But very few, illa min rahimullah, practice this. That you have these differences, and then you bridge the gap and close the door to discord and come back to harmony and unity. Very few people are favored with that. And may Allah bless us with that characteristic. Ameen. So be keen on brotherhood. And if something happened between you and the past that caused you to separate, then forget the past and turn over a new leaf. I say to you, brothers, the one from amongst us who has shortcomings who has mistakes. We do not try to bring him down. The one from amongst us who makes a mistake, we do not destroy him. May Allah bless you. Barakallah fikum. We cure him with softness and wisdom and love and so on. Until. Until. <coughs> until he returns to know. Until he returns to that which is right and correct. So Habatifillah, that shows us the, the methodology for how we should deal with those differences and how we should deal with the Mukhalifin, those people who uh, from Ahlul Sunnah who have made mistakes. How we should deal with them. Should we rush to take them out of the sal uh, Dawah to Salafiyyah? Should we rush to attack their honor? Or should we listen to the advice of the Shaykh and be patient and advise them and be gentle with them. But very few of us uh, see the wisdom and practice this. And if he still has weakness in him, we should not be hasty. Because with these ways, no one will be left, no one. Allahu Akbar. That's so important. And it's so true, subhanAllah. How many people do we know every week, matter of fact, because of some of the fitna that's going on these days, we see a new da'i or one of the scholars that were known from Ahlul Sunnah being taken off of the Sunnah because of hastiness. Because of hastiness, a lack of patience with some of our brothers. And this we cannot afford to have. And, and nor can they afford to have that with their own souls between them and Allah. Because if they were hasty, then this is a mistake. This is something displeasing to Allah. This is something sinful. So we have to watch being hasty with our brothers. Advise them and be gentle with them. And just the fact that you advise someone once, twice, three times, does not mean they're now, you should consider them now arrogant. Or that they are, uh, you know, give them no opportunity and just close the door. It's, now it's hajr. Now it's this. Now I'm going to warn against them on the YouTube. Now I'm going to do this. Now it's going to be, I'm going to write a book about them. No. But instead, it takes patience. It takes patience with your brothers and sisters from Ahlul Sunnah. Now there are people who throw out the Salafis. They threw out the Salafis until they reached the scholars and started calling them Mumayyir. So now there are almost no other scholars left. And this is the way of Ikhwana Muslimin. This is the way of the people of innovations. From their weapons is that they try to take down the scholars. Rather, this is a Jewish way, a Masonic way. Their way, if you want to bring, their way is if you want to bring down an idea or an understanding, bring down its scholars, or bring down their reputations. Allah yibarak fikum. So stay away from this evil inheritance and respect the scholars. Whoever hates this minhaj will speak against the scholars. The one who hates this minhaj 
and he wants to bring it down will speak against the scholars. This is the way of the Yahud and the rest of the misguided sects. The Rafida, the Shia, they hate Islam, but they are not able to speak against the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So they speak against Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu and Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu and the scholars of Islam in order to destroy Islam and bring it down. And the rest of the major bid'ah are not able to speak about Imam Ahmed, the people of major bid'ah, uh, and his likes. So they speak about Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab and Ibn Taymiyyah and their likes in order to bring them bring down this minhaj. Barakallahu fikum. These days, if one was to be raised amongst the Salafi ranks, you would not even notice, except that they would be talking about the scholars. What do they want? What do they want? Is it the hereafter and the victory of this minhaj that they want? If they love this minhaj, by Allah, they would not be doing this. So do not trust your deen with these people, and do not have faith in them. Barakallah fikum. Be very wary of them, and be brothers amongst yourselves. This is a uh, fantastic advice from the Shaykh about these, how to deal with this, this fitna that we deal with. And that brotherhood, we should be striving for brotherhood, not striving to close the door of brotherhood and striving to destroy the honor of our brothers and sisters, but rather we should be striving to uh, increase the good and uh, remove the evil. Then the sheikh said, he said, know that you are not perfect. You are not free from error. And the scholars, they are not free from error. They make mistakes. Except, of course, if one of them enters into the deviant groups or into Hezbiyah or one of the groups of Hezbiyah. But a Salafi who has love for the sake of Allah to the Salafis and he loves the Salafi minhaj and one who hates the different groups, Barakallahu Fikum and so on, then he falls into some issues. This one we are soft with. Allahu Akbar. We advise him and we are patient with him. And we try to cure him. Barakallah fikum. But then if someone makes a mistake, just one mistake, and this he is destroyed, then he is destroyed. Then no one would be left like this. And here's the reason. They finished with the youth. They turned to the scholars to bring them down. Barakallah fikum. When the Ikhwan al-Muslimin entered this country, they tried to bring down the Salafi scholars. And at the same time, they defended Sayyid Qutb uh, al-Banna. Maududi and the rest of the people of Bid'ah, Barakallahu Fikum, and they brought down the Salafi scholars. They, the Salafi scholars, became stars, scholars of the rulers, and so and so on and so forth from their accusations. What was their intention? Their intention was to bring down the Salafi minhaj and to establish, instead of it, falsehood and misguidance. These people today who say that they are Salafis and they speak against the Salafi scholars, what do they want? Do they want to raise the flag of Islam and, and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the flag of the Salafi Minhaj? No. These are signs and proofs that they are liars and they are to be accused no matter where what they claim to be themselves to be upon. So that's very imperative, Akhwanifillah, uh, is to understand the Minhaj of those people who speak against the scholars. If you hear someone always accusing the scholars, the Najdi scholars, this and that, all of these accusations, beware of people like this. These are clearly people of deviance. It's either a person who's so ignorant of his religion that he just speaks on his desires and what he's heard from here and there, or it's a person who's ignorant and deviant, or it's a person who's deviant. So regardless, they are lacking in good and they need da'wah and they need to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the Shaykh said, So I advise you and I emphasize this point, leave off separation. It is upon you to be brothers. It is upon you to follow the truth and spread this da'wah everywhere in its beautiful and correct form. Not in the, uh, an ugly form like that which those peop, uh, these people follow. Present the, present the Salafi da'wah just as I have just explained to you. Allah Tabarak wa ta'ala said, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Imam Ahmed said, Bukhari said, Muslim said, Use the scholars that the people respect. Let the people listen to the sayings of these scholars. May Allah bless you. This will help you. You will find some people, of course, who will reject this. But not all of the people are going to reject it. You will find that those people will accept this, inshallah, and turn to your da'wah. Use these ways that draw the people of, to the book of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the sunnah of the message of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the way of the salaf al-salih. I ask Allah, wa ta'ala, to grant us 
success in doing all that he loves and is pleased with and to allow us to be from the sincere callers to Allah and from the scholars and to save us and yourselves from the plots of the shaitan and the plots of the devils from amongst the jinn and mankind. I ask Allah tabarak wa ta'ala to bring your hearts together and to gather you upon the truth and to benefit the people through you wherever you are and wherever you go. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.